Smith. Thank you, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. Whilst I appreciate the points that the Rail Replacement Minister makes <laughs> about recent improvements in Avanti, can I ask my honourable friend if he accepts that the failures of Avanti in recent years have led to consumers voting with their feet and refusing to use Avanti services where they can, in the case of Birmingham to London coming onto the Chiltern line instead, adding to the overcrowding on the Chiltern line. So what reassurance can he give that within this new contract there are incentives for Avanti to win that trust back so that we're not maintaining overcrowding on other railways such as Chiltern? Honourable friend, of course, um, with his minutious attention to detail, he will have recognised that yesterday we had the rail replacement bus minister, but today we have another rail replacement minister. minister. And I think that's um, uh, thoroughly in order. Uh, as regards the effect on customers, of course, again, he's spot on. And it is very noticeable how uh, much the new team at Avanti recognised the commercial challenge of wooing back customers with whom the disastrous underperformance of last year, which they recognise and they understand and they accept, um, have lost. And that's a vital commercial challenge. We judge that they are beginning to meet that and doing more than beginning to meet that as a matter of service. There is much further to go as regards the extension of the quality of the service. They recognise that and that is all in the interest of customers and better customer experience.